the Killer B assassin, or simply known to most as Cammy. She was a special ops agent for Delta Raid Commando Task Force, but became a contractor for Shadowloo after losing her memories. She has the cannon drill and the thrust kick. And according to Jules Mulvey's tier list, she's currently ranked behind Rogue in the C tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Cammy the killer bee so deadly? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Cammy Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Cammy moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the cannon drill. This move is Cammy's rush attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any kick button. The light kick version travels at a shorter distance, while the fierce kick variation is practically full screen. Both versions of the move only score for one hit, and they both travel at the same speed. The cannon drill has excellent startup time, and the move serves well as a combo finisher. Also, the cannon drill can be done in midair. Up next is the attack called the Cannon Spike. This move is Cammy's anti-air. To do the attack, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any kick button. Honestly, there's not really much to explain here, since the attack works mostly like any other anti-air move. This attack has fast startup time and is very combo friendly. As with all anti-air attacks, use the fierce kick version with caution as a missed cannon spike will leave you wide open. Next on the list is the attack called the Axel Spin Knuckle. This is the move where Cammy does a hop forward into a standing fierce punch. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button. There's a lot of mystery to this move. So, for starters, the spin knuckle has invincibility frames, I believe somewhere in the middle of the attack. It's right after the startup, but before the end of the move. The timing of the invincibility is critical, and if done correctly, then Kami will pass through some attacks. This move can be done to apply pressure and is a sneaky way to get closer to the opponent. But to tell the truth, I wouldn't recommend overusing this move in a match. The cannon strike is an air to ground attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button while in mid air. This move comes out very fast, and it works great as a combo finisher. The light kick version goes more in a downwards direction, 
while the first kick has more of a wide angle upon executing it. Not only does this move can surprise unsuspecting opponents, but it's also a faster way to return to the ground. The Cannon Revenge is Kami's counterattack. To do the move, do a half circle back plus any punch button. Upon doing this move, Kami will flash for a few seconds while waiting for her opponent to attack. Also, the Light Punch version flash time lasts a lot longer than the Fierce Punch. This move is most effective at close range and for countering normals. The Hooligan Combo is a special flip move that Kami goes into. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. Once the move is executed, there are several options that you can follow through with. So, press and punch will allow Kami to throw her opponent. You gotta be close. Press and kick will allow Kami to perform a cannon strike. And finally, Pressing nothing will allow Kami to go into a sweeping attack. The hooligan combo is great for mind games and to keep the enemy guessing when used properly. Kami has four normal throws. Press forward and fierce punch to do a suplex. Press forward and fierce kick to do a flip over body slam. Press forward and fierce punch in mid-air to do an aerial body toss. Press forward and fierce kick in mid-air to do a flip over body slam. Press up twice to do Kami's double jump. You can even do this from a super jump. Press back and first kick to do the steel slicer. The steel slicer looks like a mid-range attack. Kami has two launchers in the game. Press down plus first punch for the standard launcher. The second way to do the launcher is by hitting them with a standing fierce kick. That's it. You can do Kami's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick and press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So, the first hyper I would like to cover is called a Killer Bee Assault. This is the move where Kami does a backflip to the wall, then proceed to hit the opponent in a similar manner as a Maximum Spider. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons. This move can be done on both the ground and the air, but because of the way it's done, it cannot be comboed from the ground into on its own. But, it's possible to catch them with the Killer B from an air combo like so. Yeah. 
and because of research, the killer bee assault is most likely her most dangerous hyper. Also, as damaging as the move is, you can be left wide open if blocked, so be careful. The second hyper combo in the list is called a reverse shaft breaker. This is where Kami will do a vertical attack similar to Ken Shin Choru Ken. To do the attack, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. This hyper does decent damage, but it's mostly vertical and it has no range. So to use it effectively, you either have to be right underneath an airborne enemy, or extremely close when executing the attack. It has no range. So the final hyper I would like to discuss is called a spin drive smasher. This is where Kami does a super version of the cannon drill, which then goes into a cannon spike. Both moves hits several times. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. So this hyper is easy to combo into and the easiest to connect with. When starting out with Kami, I recommend using this hyper since it's the most standard. Here's what to expect when you use Kami as an assist character. Kami's alpha assist will attack the enemy with the fierce punch cannon spike. Her beta assist will use a fierce kick cannon drill. And her gamma assist will perform an axle spin knuckle. Overall, Kami has excellent combos and her air combo game is insane. She does excellent damage in the air and because of her smaller frame, it makes it harder to hit her. You definitely want to land a Killer Bee Assault, especially the aerial version. And with so many moves and variants, it's enough to keep opponents guessing when she is played properly. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Kami. When connecting the aerial Killer Bee Assault from the Cannon Drill, make sure to do the Cannon Drill with Fierce Kick. When attempting a reset, Quickly run in with a crouching light kick into a crouching fierce punch. A reset combo can be done from the ground version of the Killer B. Throw in a hooligan combo every once in a while to keep them guessing. Whenever using Kami as an assist, make sure to use the Alpha one, which is the fierce kick cannon spike. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.